Welcome to my widening participation mini-series. This one is the pros and cons of being a mature student or an adult student or an independent student depending on the terminology you prefer. These will be super fast videos, super short, just highlighting the pros and cons of each aspect of widening participation that I fit into from my experience. So here we go. Let's start with the pros. So the first one is that I know exactly what I'm there to achieve. I know exactly what I want. I'm not trying to figure things out. I have an exact goal. I truly appreciate what I'm learning. Life experience offers a totally different perspective. So that applies to both academic stuff what I'm learning, but also the way I view university life. Generally, I have a more balanced view of university life because it's not my only priority. I'm too old to let my social life get in the way of my studies. I never go to class hungover. I would never dream of cramming an assignment. <laughs> I'm a professional woman, so I never struggle to find work, which a lot of students can. And also, I don't have to move from year to year. I'm in a secure home, and if I choose to move, it's because I want to. It's not because I'm living in university accommodation or I'm switching flatmates from year to year. I think a really important one is that I'm not afraid to call out my lecturers when I think that something's not quite right. Although there are negatives to being a mature student, I just want to say wholeheartedly, the pros outweigh the cons, but the cons are really important. So here they are. The work, study, life balance can be a major challenge. And I'm sure that's the same for all students, but especially when you're trying to support yourself in an adult lifestyle. Although things like student discount are quite good, being a student screws up a lot of things for insurance, for example. Uh, because I'm classed as a full-time student, it messes me up for so many things that I just need in my adult life and it makes things a lot more expensive and a lot more complicated. When we moved to this flat here, we had to get our parents to be guarantors. Now that's a little awful when you're this age to ask your parents to be guarantors for your flat rent. <laughs> like, there is no dignity in that. University staff often expect university to be a student's only priority, but of course, I'm still maintaining a professional career. And, you know, even though I don't have children, I still have various family commitments and a life outside of that. And I have little Foxy Boo as well, who's been annoying me this entire video. Fox is just milling around in the background, so excuse that. I have major issues when university staff speak to me as if I'm 18, because I'm not. I'm not a child. Don't speak to me like that. I don't like it. It's not okay. Transition to university is designed for people transitioning from full-time education into full-time education, which I've mentioned in other videos, but I really need to highlight it because this is a nightmare in the beginning, transitioning in with timetables, but it doesn't really go away because your timetable changes every year. It can be difficult to maintain a professional career. It is a challenge, it's manageable, I do it, but I just so happen to be in a line of work that allows me to do it. I know that not everyone is. Some subjects really do require knowledge from high school. My access course was brilliant, but it couldn't possibly cover all the things that they expected me to know. So for example, I study psychology and one of my modules expected me to know a lot of biology and I never even took that in high school and it wasn't an element in my access course. So I found that really hard. I basically had to self-teach a lot of that stuff. Also, the social aspect can be a little bit sad. I'm only 28 years old, I'm still a sociable character and sometimes the younger students, they keep a distance once they learn my age. I want to end this video by saying that I personally wasn't ready for university life when I was 18 years old and I know that a lot of people are and they thrive in that situation so please don't take this video as me saying that being a mature student is the better way to go, it's totally individual and for me it just wasn't a good way to go and this is just a great time in my life to study and I'm really enjoying it. So I want to encourage anyone that's considering being a mature student to just go for it. It's difficult, it's hard work, it's not easy, but it's so worth it and I just love it. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, my name is at Clearly Sykes. I update that much more regularly and I do lots of 
little posts around this type of information all the time as well as updating daily how I feel about being a student and what I'm up to. I also answer any questions that you have in my private messages but feel free to comment here too because I do check this more regular now. So hopefully this video helped in one way or another and that you got something out of it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!